there's loads of people that are talented in the world, but you do have to work hard to achieve your goals, so yeah. Well, that's really going to help you, isn't it? The build up to the Olympics, of course. Because, <laughs> because there'll be so much focus on you uh, building up to Japan. How, how do you deal with that? A lot of pressure now. I just keep going like normal, if I'm being honest. Yeah, I think I'm getting a bit more comfortable with um, there being more attention, I think. If you asked me a few years ago, or even last year, I would have been like, oh, no, no, please, just, just don't look at me, kind of. And I'm still a bit like that, don't get me, don't get me wrong, but I think I've kind of interpreted it as people want you to do well and people are hoping that you do well, which is absolutely lovely. Obviously, people's hopes and aspirations are completely distinct from the hard work that I still need to do, and it's distinct from what actually might happen on track because you've still got to put in the work to be successful. But um, it's just well wishes, and it's really nice that so many people want me to do well. No Russia team at the um, Olympics because they've been banned by WADA mm -hmm. for four years uh, this week. W what do you think about that? Well, I think in track and field, I think they were already banned as a nation. So within the track and field sport, there's no real change for us. But obviously, like, I want a clean sport. So it's really important that the big international governing bodies are taking that step, and it's a good one. When you've raced against other girls, have you ever been in a situation where you thought, I don't trust their performances? No, I've never stood on the line and thought that, simply because that's not the right mentality to go into a race with. Like, when I stand on the line, you have to be ready to race whatever's there. It doesn't matter kind of what the circumstances are, whether it's windy, whether it's cold, or whether there's something else. What does the build-up then look like to Tokyo? So between now and then training, 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 training. <laughs> Loads training. of hard work, loads of hard work. Training, I'll probably start racing at about May, June time, which I'm not completely sure about, but definitely making sure that we're at the Milan Anniversary Games um, in the summer, which I'm so excited for, because that will be actually the first opportunity that I'm able to stand in front of a British crowd as a world champion, which is a crazy thought, but um, yeah. And what, what can you do or not do between now and then? Are there, are there things you can't eat? Yeah. OK, yeah. so tell, tell, tell us that. No cakes. I know I love cake. Cakes, brownies, ice cream, apple pies. Uh, oh, no. Pizza. I know, all the fun things, all the fun things. But um, ultimately, it's all worth it, because if you retire after having a great career, you can eat all the cakes you want for the rest of your life. In the middle of Doha, it was the um, Alberto Salazar scandal broke in the middle of it. What was the locker room chat about that? What were the, were the athletes kind of thinking, OK, good, or...? Oh, uh, we had no idea. <laughs> you had no idea? No, of course not, because we were all focusing on our running. Like, we're not really... You can't... When you're, obviously, in a performance environment, like, you can't be focusing on stuff that's happening outside it. So I remember it was press post... post-champs. They always asked us about, like you are now, and we were all like, what? What are you talking about? Because, obviously, it's like, it's our defining moment. So when... Yeah. It's like it's our lives. Like this is what I've been running for since I was eight years old, thirteen years old. So when it comes down to it, we're just completely focused on what we have to do. So whatever's happening, like outside that, is particularly if it doesn't pertain to us, is we we weren't aware. What What's your dream when you when you think through you know forward to July to the Olympics? Yeah. Um. Do you can you allow yourself to think about collecting? Oh, no, well. no, we don't think about that, simply because I have to train so hard to get there and then I have to race, I have to make the team and I have to get there injury-free. So there are a few, quite a few small but significant hurdles that you have to overcome before you can even think about the Olympics. And even when you do, you don't start thinking about the result afterwards when you've got to do the races first. So, 